Welcome to Carsmation. Irrespective of the SUV's price range or segment, considerations such as value, spaciousness, and elegance are all important. Although it meets those criteria, the Cadillac XT4 from 2025 lacks the sophistication and subtlety that set the best vehicles in the competitive subcompact luxury SUV market. Its handling lacks athleticism and refinement, and its eager buck course turbo four-cylinder engine is easily confused with the smoother hybrid or six-cylinder powertrains offered by the finest in the class. In spite of this, compared to most of its rivals, the ride quality is harsher over cracked pavement. But the five-passenger, two-row interior is roomy for the class, and the exterior style is spot-on. Regretfully, the inside material quality doesn't have the sophisticated vibe befitting a product in the premium class. Its somewhat higher-than-average seating posture contributes to a comprehensive view of the road ahead. Although the X-T4 is flawless, it does not possess the subtlety and comprehensive character of the best options in the market, such as the Mercedes-Benz GLA class, the deliciously eccentric Volvo XC40, and the BMW X1. What's new for 2025? The premium luxury is now the new entry-level model, replacing the base luxury trim from last year. All trims now come with the active safety package, which was previously an optional addition and adds technologies like surround view cameras, lane keep assistance, and adaptive cruise control. Pricing and which one to buy? Premium luxury $41,990, sport $42,790. Although the prices of the premium luxury and sport models are nearly equal, we would suggest the XT4 Sport because it is a nicer car to drive and the former doesn't live up to its moniker. It features customized interior elements, blacked out exterior trim, and distinctive wheel styles. Better bolstered front seats and an adjustable damper suspension are further features of the Sport variant. Engine, transmission, and performance. Every XT4 has a four-cylinder turbocharged engine under the hood that produces 235 horsepower. It can be paired with either front or all-wheel drive and a nine-speed automatic transmission. Even with its comparatively low power, the X-T4 feels agile in urban areas and when combining onto freeways. Disregard Cadillac's claim that the X-T4 is sporty. It's not so much a sporty SUV as it is a boulevard cruiser. As long as the road is somewhat smooth, the ride is acceptable. However, when traveling on the optional 20-inch wheels, the cabin experiences a lot of vibrations and abrupt hits from the uneven patches of asphalt. Similarly unsatisfactory, the steering lacks both feel and directness in its operation. The X-T4's brakes are its only truly decisive control, with one of the firmest brake pedals we've ever experienced. They brought our test car down from 70 miles per hour in our emergency stopping test in 165 feet. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG the XT4 receives completely mediocre EPA fuel efficiency figures despite having a cylinder deactivation feature that can save fuel. Front wheel drive models can achieve 24 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the interstate. Adding all wheel drive reduces those mileage estimates by 1 mpg. Our all wheel drive test vehicle only achieved 26 of its EPA rated 28 miles per gallon in our real world 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test. Interior, comfort, and cargo. Although roomy and comfy, the XT4's interior lacks the upscale quality we would anticipate in this high end class. Lower on the doors and center console, less expensive, sharp edged plastic continues to be used. The dashboard and upper door panels are wrapped in a stitched imitation leather. The switches and buttons have the appearance and feel of being shared with General Motors' more affordable models. Both the front seat and the back seat have plenty of room for passengers. Similar to its passenger cabin, the XT4's cargo area is roomy. We were able to store six of our carry-on bags behind the back seat of the XT4, and we could fit 18 when the seat backs were folded flat. The Volvo XC40 is a vehicle worth looking at if you're searching for a small SUV that can tow baggage like a larger one. It can accommodate 23 carry-on suitcases. Infotainment and connectivity. 
A 33.0 inch display that houses both an infotainment screen and a digital instrument cluster is standard on all XT4 variants. Across two thirds of the dashboard, the sharp looking touchscreen has rounded corners that go well with the XT4's interior decor. The user can interact with the interface by touching the screen or by turning a knob that is located on the console. The interface is also rather simple to use. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wireless connectivity are standard. A 7-speaker audio system, in-dash navigation, and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot with 5G internet connectivity are standard. A 13-speaker AKG stereo is available. Thanks for watching.